I'm gonna go ahead and put this and put this uh piece of information out, man, this video. Because uh you know, one thing that irritates me above all else, all right? One thing that irritates me above all else is the foolish jesting of uh, niggas that claim to be uh, in the truth. <clears throat> Especially when, you know, wicked, wickedness is amiss and you start bringing out things that are factual and true. Instead of taking rebuke, instead of... Uh, Owning up to your um, your fault, you act like a nigga. All right, and obviously dealing with this dude uh, Mahara Khan, right, who was a well known adulterer going all the way back, right, going all the way back <clears throat> to my times in GMS and knowing that this, knowing what this guy has done, you know, it's just, it, it really irritates me, man. Now, you know, there's, I wanted to touch on this, this topic, and I also wanted to touch on the fact that, uh, you know, this guy's been proven to be an informant, and that video's going to come out, um, soon, all right? You know, of course, in, in the advent of what happened with this dude, um, what's his cat's name, uh, Judah Deshuda, all right, me putting out that video, and, and, of course, being promoted on Maharaka's page, all right, you know, I had to I had to speak up and say something and show y'all, man, like, uh, you know, this, uh, this situation is no joke, okay? So, you know, with that being said, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, call Allah, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai, all right? That's right, Abhi God. All right, from the Sakari Seattle. Did I say Sakari Seattle? I'm still thinking. Um, thinking I'm in Sakari, man. You know, but uh, nah. But but on on some um uh, on some real note though, man. Like I'm here, you know, to show. You know, what I'm saying what went on with this guy and what's going on with this dude, man. You know, like I said, I what irritates me is the foolish jesting. All right, let me flip the camera over. All right, you know this this fool right here, man. That's in a Masonic pose. All right, this cat right here, <laughs> you know, burning incense like like that's gonna scare off the the the, the um. The mountains, the level of demons that's on this guy. Okay. Um, this dude, Maharaka, man. Um, let me go ahead and go to the YouTube page, Army of Israel. I mean, this dude is irritating me because this guy, I don't even feel like addressing the stuff that he said in the video that he did on me with that fool, um, that gun toting fool. Slash agent provocateur, and I got a video on him, man. You know what I'm saying? Because since he wants to be a clown, and since he wants to be a, you know, a complete moron, I got a video for that monkey, man. I got a real good video for that monkey. Um, you know, because I mean, at this point, there's no point of, um, you know, I, look, man. That's the last time I'll I'll ever allow a, allow a stupid nigga to come on my live stream. You know, you give guys the benefit of the doubt, but the problem with these fools and these clowns is that these guys will sit up here and take take that and take that as their advantage to go out and act act a goddamn fool, man. So let's see, Army of Israel headquarters. Let's go to this this video right here. All right, this channel. And this fool, this clown, this idiot. Known as uh, what's what's this guy's name? Um, Maharakad has a nerve to call somebody clout chasing, but for some reason, this guy, you know, look, I haven't even posted this video. I didn't feel like you know that it's a good YouTube video to put out because of the length of the length of the video and the um, horrible audio that was recorded on the latter end of the video. 
and of course, brothers and sisters have told me that I, I should never brought that clown on because all, all there ever was in that whole video was nothing but a bunch of, uh, cooning and buffooning and niggerism. All right. That was done on his part that I feel victim to by even allowing him on. <clears throat> but here it is, this guy right here. All right. Speaking of Maharika, like I said, not even, not even 14 hours after the videos were put up on that video was put up. This guy proceeds to put the video up that I did, XG, calling me XGMS member reject, rebuke, uh, rebukes Judah or whatever. All right. It's a goofy ass title. I mean, yes, I'm an XGMS member going back from 2014, 2013, 2014. You know, the recent group I was with was Sakari. Now I was now I'm amongst a new group with a new group of brothers. All right. Four men strong. All right. So this right here um, is the other video. All right. The video that he proceeded to do in retaliation with this gun toting fool right here. Right. You know, I mean, it's, you know, watching the video, all I could do is just smile and laugh. And it's like, man, this is what you guys wanted this attention. But of course, you guys know that you guys knew exactly what was gonna go, what was gonna happen when um, a video. I mean, you know, when you post a video, upload a video of this guy on the right hand corner. I mean, on the right hand side. All right, on your right, if you're watching it from my perspective. Okay. So I'm just I'm just chronicalizing why this this video is being done and why and the and the information that was brought to me because of course everybody knows that this man is an adulterer. If you don't know that Maharakad is an adulterer, you know what I'm saying, then you don't know you you don't know the nigga. And you have not been around the tr been in the truth longer than 2 years. I'm just going to put it like that. Or you're simple as hell. Because when I was in GMS, there was a lot of information coming out on this nigga being a complete adulterer. Now, what I addressed in that, that video was the fact that he is an informant because he gave up his names of his of the members of his own congregation a couple years ago, which is the exact reason why this guy doesn't have no more members in his camp. All right. So. This video. Is what I was bringing out this this and I'm gonna say this too man if there's anybody in Mashra Yasha Allah that's affiliated like what the hell is wrong with you guys what the hell is wrong with you guys allowing this guy and the reason why he's being talked about he was being put, talked about in my video is because he uploaded this video of this agent provocateur fool ass nigga Known as Judah the Shooter. All right. Now look, let me let me go to the other title. And like I said, I'm gonna do a, a separate video on this guy because at this point, the point, the purpose of putting out these videos is to warn the sheep of false prophets, and and warn of agent provocateurs and informants, guys that will tell on you. And put your tell your name and congregation and information to Esau and will not think twice about it. All right. Also, too, you have to work, you have to look out for these agent provocateur. Like, I mean, if you guys have ever studied the COINTEL, if you guys ever studied what happened to the Black Panthers, the Brown Berets, the the uh Native American movement, the Indian um Native American movement. You guys should know better, man. All right. While well, Typhoon hit Japan, all praises. Somebody just sent that to me. A brother sent that to me in the camp. I mean, I mean, the title speaks for itself. First and foremost, Judah the shooter shots fired at the Christian churches and false pastors. I mean, <laughs> That in and of itself, all right? And like I said, I got some scriptures on deck. 
you know, but I'm just showing you, I'm chronicalizing. Judah the shooter, all right, shots fired at the Christian churches and false pastors. Like, yeah, it sounds like a rapper's name. It sounds like some smack URL bullshit, okay? Now, this guy is on the street corners teaching with guns. Masharai Yasha Allah, or whoever the hell is in charge of this guy, um, of the guy that put this video up, right? That's promoting this fool known as Judah the Shooter, speaking of Maharaka, the adulterer, slash, um, slash, <laughs> agent provocateur, slash, false prophet, slash, adulterer, slash, uh, AOI members slash informant. All right. Where is this? Where is this fool ass nigga at, man? Like this guy strapped up looking like the goddamn Punisher, nigga. Look at this guy, man. Look at this fool right here, man. And he's having a young child read the Bible, right? I don't know who, whose child that is. It might be his. Who knows? But this is all, this all looks bad. Okay. This nigga got, and what, where's the, uh, <laughs> I mean, this guy looks, look like he looked like fucking, um, the Punisher. Like I said, man, this dude got a gun on his left hip, a gun on his right leg, a gun on his chest and his holster, a gun on his left hip. All right. And the guy confirmed that he had five pistols. Mashra Yashala. All right. What the hell is wrong with y'all and not reprimanding and not correcting this clown known as Maharaka? This guy is not a fucking leader, man. I'm going in on Maharaka because this guy is, look, man, I, look, if you just came in the video, uh, a Bishop Bun Yesharal, look, let's just look at this. You see Army Israel headquarters, this is Maharaka's page. Judah the shooter, shots fired at the Christian churches and false pastors. He's promoting a guy that, got, that is open carrying five guns, all right? I never had a breakdown. You little babies wanted to be somebody. Nobody wants to be Maharaka, man. Like, look, see, this is what I'm talking about, man. And, as, you know, as your Luciferian ass is throwing up the damn triangle pyramid, you know what I'm saying? Um, look, man. <laughs> oh, uh, Maharaka, uh, I'm glad that you're in here, man, because I got I got some shit for you, man. You think, you, man, see, look, it, it's like most of the people that's on them, that's watching this live stream don't know you. All right. I don't need to add, you know, I'm not adding no niggerism to the, to the live stream. It's like this, man. People don't know you. They don't know your adulterous ways. They don't know the shit that you've done in the past, but you know who does? I do. You know who else does? Great Millstone knows that knows what you've done. You know who else knows the shit that you've done? Yeah, I was Kemp. All right. Many brothers know the your adulterous ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have to never I don't have to meet you to know what the fuck you've done, man. And uh like I said, I'm 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 glad that you're in here. Your 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 ass is gonna have to answer answer this bullshit that that's in this video that you got deleted. But all praises a brother a brother, you know what I'm saying, and people that was back there can confirm that this video is very incriminating on you, and that you're a fucking liar in this video. Not touch not talking about this video. I mean the point is the point of this video, as I segue in, is that you're sitting up here promoting a guy you know, open carrying, trying to look, look all hard, <laughs> right? <laughs> looking all hard with pistols and whatnot, looking like the, looking like the Punisher. Like, what do you, who, <laughs> nigga, what do you need five guns? I mean, it's bad enough, man. Like you're, look, this is uh first Thessalonians, right? 
How are you a prophet of the Most High, but you're looking like damn, looking like a goddamn tactical, um, looking like goddamn um, uh, off-brand SEAL team, SEAL team uh, seven member or something, man. I'm butt hurt and I got bombed. My man, I'm, I'm laughing at that video. Only moronic. Only, it's like this. Only guys that uh, don't have a clue would make watch that video and say that you actually did something funny, man. I mean, did something good. I mean, I laughed at the video and I was just shaking my head, man. Like, this is what Israel has come down to. Some smack URL, URL uh, bullshit. All right. So watch this. This is uh first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter in the 22nd verse. And now, and, and like I said, I'm gonna take care of this guy, this other cat, man. I got I'm gonna fix this nigga real good, man, with, with a couple videos. Um, this clown, uh Judah the shooter, you know, that supposedly shot up the Christian churches and false pastors, right? First Thessalonians 5 and 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. All right. I'm not letting no niggas on the live stream no more, man. Maharakad, you are a, you are an adulterous, uh, wicked ass nigga. Everybody that knows that knows about you knows that's a fact. All right, you're not gonna deal with nothing. You're just what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this rebuke, you're gonna cry like a bitch, and you're going to do another video like you did last night. And and you're sitting up here calling people cloud chasing, right? And this is this is what what a wicked man would do. Look 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 like somebody in Esau's military teaching the Bible with border and blue and fringes, you know what I'm saying? And uh, cause the nation of Israel to you know brothers and sisters to uh, look to be um, looked at as fucking terrorists, man. Um, but it's like this: I have not even yet posted none of these videos on my page yet, but. Before this monkey, I mean, before I um, even got a chance, this monkey known as uh, Maharakai has already posted this damn video. These two videos, less than, f what, what was it, like eight hours, eight, nine, ten hours after they were posted. What that tells me is that you guys wanted this, wanted somebody to get on you. You were probably waiting for GMS or somebody like myself to put you up out there so you can have some goddamn fame. All right. You know what I'm saying? To have some damn fame, to bring, to get this guy, this goofy ass clown. All right. This gun toting, uh, carnal ass Asian provocateur known as. Um, what's my man's name? Uh, J uh Judah the shooter. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, brothers and sisters, man. Judah the shooter, man. I mean, th that's all you need to say about that man's uh IQ rating. Um, but this guy Maharaka is is known for doing a lot of niggerish shit. All right, doing a lot of wicked ass uh shit in the nation of Israel, and he's been doing it for years, man. So. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go to this right here. I am known over the world. Yeah, I know, because you've been in the truth for long enough. In in your you are known for your wicked ass acts. All right. Now look at this video. Maharaka commits adultery. <laughs> the first Hebrew summit, man. And guess who is rebuking your ass? And an, an elder himself, known as Tazadak. And I believe he's from Yahweh's camp. Okay. And Israel, step down, stop teaching, or you're going to be put on blast. Sure. Yes, now, the if you guys don't know who this is, this is Tazadak, as he's going to say. The, um, Barack spoke very well in his spirit. Um, yeah, but I just need to bring this out um, to the Akim now, and in particularly to the elders. Now, many of you know. You know, there's a couple Akim, or they're really referring to themselves as priests, but they're going around and committing adultery. Now, counseling these men. Now, watch this. He said it committing adulteries. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to give another reference, right? And the brother's no longer here with us, but I do remember those videos from back in the day. All right. 
Priest Bun Loya, the founder of Lions of Israel, he was rocking with y'all at one point, and you know what happened? He got away from y'all. You know what I'm saying? And you know what he's you know what he was talking what he said about y'all is that you guys were committing adultery. You guys were doing wicked ass acts. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you guys are known for. Speaking of army of Israel or what's left of it, which is nothing. All right. Because your monkey ass, for whatever reason, went and told, put brothers whole information of your own camp and of your own members out there for Esau to know. I'm how am I mad, dude? You, you no, you're right. I'm mad. I'm mad at the wicked niggas like you in Israel giving Israel a bad name, putting brothers and sisters' lives in danger, man, because of your fool Tom foolery, man. You goddamn right I'm mad. I'm angry at you niggas, man. That's why that's why I understand before I play the rest of this video, I understand why Great Millstone be angry with niggas like you, man, as much as they do, man, much as they are. Because you guys are the ones that are going to bring us down, bring this nation down, bring brothers into bondage, all right? And you're the, and, and you're just going to cause all, like, you're, you, it's like you niggas was created to be wicked, man. Created to be adulterous, talking to other men's women, and just causing all kinds of folly, man. Man, there's been many brothers and sisters that have told me about you over the years, man. Like, come on, man. People that you still talk to to this very day, man. Fuck up out of here, man. Great Millstone is wicked. Well, Maharaka, it's like this, man. You've been accused of being rapist. There's not one GMS member out there that was accused of being a fucking rapist. And that's a fucking fact, man. All right? That's a fact. That's, that's not lying. I'm not lying when I say that. That's a fact. I did MMA from about 2004 to 2012. Well, guess what, man? I've been training. I've been doing boxing and mixed martial arts since 2010. All the way up to now. So big fucking deal, man. And also, too, Mahara Kata, I wasn't just a GMS member. I was a founder. I was the founder of Sakari Seattle. All right. So, you know, I don't know what your problem problem is with GMS. You know, probably it's because they got up on your damn helmet so hard. But it is what it is, man. Let's listen to what this man has to say, man. You know, years ago. Private and not exposing them is just not enough. Because they're continuing to commit adultery. Now, if you want to be respected, you know, as an elder doing your duty in obedience through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, then you need to put these men on... Hey, Maharakad, according to the scriptures, none of us is shit, man. What do you mean you're a nobody? Nigga, you goddamn right I'm nobody. Guess what? You, you're you're nobody. Nobody, We're none of us is nobodies to the most high. See, this, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is how you know this guy's of a carnal mindset, man. But let me not get off track. Blast. You, these men need to be exposed. Just, you know, talking about the topic of adultery in general and not doing anything about it and not exposing these men are doing nothing to them. These men that's committing these adulterous relationships with other, um, you know, um, men's wives... They need to be put on blast, and they need ha they need hands laid on um, to be, you know, front. You know what the punishment for adultery is, especially if they've done it numerous times. Now, you men that's guilty of this, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to tell you, since these elders don't, you know. Hey, this guy says, shut up, you can't fight, and that comment was not to you, but to your girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> Hey, you see how the spirit just manifests out of nowhere, man. You see what the fuck this guy just said, man? This dude, Joe, Judah Moshe Ben Israel, Judah the Shooter, this, said, this dude said, shut up. You can't fight, and that comment was not was not to you, but to your girlfriend. You, that, you see this? <laughs> hey, brothers and sisters, you, you guys don't see this shit? 
Oh my God, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, man. I'm about to have a field day with you. Seem to have, you know, uh, you know, the strength to tell you, you need to step down or I'm going, I'm going to start calling your name and I'm going to expose you because you confessed it and you know who you are. You confessed it to a few others, but you're still out there making videos. You, you're still, you know, out there. And, and watch this. You know who he's, you know who this brother's talking about. This dude's talking about Mahara Khan, man. This is back way back when when they started first when Mashra Yashala first started doing these damn uh first start doing these um these uh what's we call this man these uh summits man camps and teaching people when you're wicked as hell you know how you are teaching the people the most high when you're committing adultery with your brother's wife. Sometime in your own damn camp, you're wicked as hell, Negro, and somebody need to put their hands on you, man. Who do you think, who do you guys think he's talking about? He's not talking about just, he's not, he's not just saying, making a general statement towards the whole nation of Israel. He's making a statement to the guy that's been known to commit adultery and break up relationships so that eight, nine years down the line, like, like the brother, like the late priest bun lawyer said eight years eight eight seven nine months down the line he, that he can be with him okay so why let's watch this oh praise be to um, the most high that it's not my word that you've been dealing with wickedly like that and these other men you see hey you see this your mom's nigga you see the carnal shit coming out of these guys, the carnal uh, demonic spirit that's in these guys coming out. First, uh, uh, Judah the Suda said that he's he was directing this to my girlfriend. OK. All right. He wasn't directing this shit to me. I can't fight. And he's directing this to my girlfriend. The other guy just said um, just said something about your mom's nigga. Yeah, you remember the year uh, he said 2014. Yeah, see? Hey, Mahara cop, man. Just 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 wait, man. I got you, man. They allow you to do this and get away with it. They must be weak. But I'm saying this <laughs> to you out this. If you're gonna be out this, <laughs> then do the law according to how it is written. Mm -hmm. These men need to be exposed. That's talking about adultery in general is not enough. These men need to be exposed so other Akim know not to allow them in their camps. And all mm -hmm. you other brothers that's out there, you know, teaching with these men that's committed adultery. Yasha Allah needs to turn their back on you as well. Because that is that is a wicked um spirit, man. That is a wicked spirit. Yep, and that and the dude that's that's dealing with that wicked ass spirit is the, the nigga named Maharikad. Alright? So let's just listen to the you know, next three minutes. Put this out to all camps to make sure that this man is not teaching in any camp. In any uh, group of guys that he go out with and try to create a camp with, then the whole nation needs to turn their back on those men too. Because you, you should not support this man and his wicked acts and the whores. Uh, come on, man. Who do you guys think this guy is talking about? Come on, man. He's not talking about just any old body. He's talking about this dreadhead known as this dreadheaded, uh, disgusting, adulterous nigga known as um, Maharakad. In uh, Isaiah, Azazia Azaz, Bunyahawada, he ain't do, no, this brother ain't doing nothing. I'm using his video to basically put a stamp on uh, Maharakad. That's it. That he's been committing adultery with. So not just the man, but the woman that's involved in these adulterous relationships. And that's why I wanted to point out. And I'm, I'm telling you, those of you that should know what's going on, and you know who I'm talking about. Some of you under the sound of my voice don't know who I'm talking about. But hopefully the spirit of well, these men that this adulterer confessed to <laughs> and put him on a blast. 
and stop him from teaching and stop this man from coming around your kids. Now, this is going to touch a lot of people, but it's the truth. And you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So get free from this sin. And you know, when he, when he was talking about the elders, he the elders he was talking about was the same elders that are that were starting these uh, Hebrew summit camps. Speaking of Masharai Gashala, for whatever reason, these guys allow nigglets. All right, because I don't I don't respect. Look, I respect Tahar as an elder. I respect other certain brothers as elders, but there are certain guys like yourself, like Maharaka, that uh that I can't respect, man. Like I don't respect adultery. And you brothers and sisters shouldn't respect it either, man. So, um, real quick, let me let me go ahead and uh, bring this scripture out real quick. Because this guy tried to delete a video. Like, brothers ain't going to sit up here and um, save these videos. You know what I'm saying? For records. To keep record of this guy that has been committing the same act for years, man. He's still doing it to this very day. I, look, I'm, I'm going to just say this, man. I'm going to just say this without saying too much, right? Let's say this. Certain brothers and sisters, man, have showed, have uh, put me, you know, put me on the uh, phone just to hear and be a witness to this guy's, uh, to this nigga's wicked acts. Now, I'm not going to bring those damn um, acts out. All, I, all I'm going to focus on is something that you guys can see for yourself. And I'm just saying, because it's like, man, when I look, I, I don't turn a blind eye to wickedness, especially adultery. That shit got to stop in Israel, man, because uh, if it don't stop, there's going to be a lot of dead uh, blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man, in this nation. All right. A lot of Israelite blood is going to be spilled because of wickedness, man. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and go to this real quick. And uh, I believe it's in Isaiah, the 29th chapter. In the 29th verse. And guess what? This verse does not, uh, the 29th chapter in the 15th verse. This verse does not uh, exclusively apply to Esau. It also applies to these wicked ass niggas that act like Esau. Kind of like Maharachad. All right. Maharachad. Well, well, I, I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just bringing this out because uh, I'm letting this guy know that, uh, you know, just pretty much bringing this stuff out. Yeah, this video is to 2014 and the, and the uh, next video is going to be from 2014, too. So, yeah, just 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 stay just just hold up now. This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek uh, deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Right? <laughs> and their works in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Maharaka, man. Look, man, there are a lot of people that know, know what you have done. And they have recorded things, man. And they've given me certain things, man. Um, but yeah, who seeth us, who knoweth us, man? So... Let's deal with this, right? This is a video that somebody sent me, all right? Now, I'm pretty sure you remember this video, okay? <laughs> the same video that you try to get deleted from YouTube. Yeah, YouTube and Facebook, man. And you sit up, you sat up here in this video and sat up here and lied. And, oh, man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play this video, man. This nigga's counseling with a relationship of two of a man and a woman, man. Yeah, he flagged this video, man. He took this damn video down like a bitch. Just like he got uh, that dude, uh, Mr. Hebrew One's channel took him down like a bitch, you know? So just to give you a synopsis and scenario, this woman right here um, has 
has a, a husband that get she was the that she was divorced with, man. All right, but for some reason, Maharakat <laughs> is the one intervening in this particular situation. So let's so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and play. Let's go ahead and start. Real, let's start from the beginning. Are we Who came out here? Are we divorced? Yo, who is this on the phone? Who, who is on the phone? Who's who? Okay, are we divorced or are we married? Okay, now this is him. What, what's the date? Are you? What's the date that you're saying? What date? What's, what's the date? What's today's date? Yes. What's today's date? Because so, he's recording. So what's today's date? No, the the seventh, the seventh, the nineteenth, seventeenth. No, the eighteenth. The eighteenth. Huh? Okay. What time? We what? So twenty fourteen. All right. Two thousand four. Two thousand four. How many years ago? Okay. What? When when did we file a divorce? Okay. Oh four. Okay, but we've been trying to what? All right, so they so both of these individuals try to get back together. Okay, now you heard what the dude, uh, Milton, uh, what's his name, Milton Morris was trying to do with this his 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 wife, right? Because they divorced, but they trying to get back together, right? Now listen. So you were trying to reconcile. I mean, so watch this, man. This this nigga. Now you now you heard you heard it right. This nigga known as Maharakad, all right. I, you know what I'm saying, and I'm being I'm being very um, what you call it. Um, I'm being you know sarcastic when I say say this guy's name. This guy's trying to intervene into into this particular situation. When when a man and a woman you know let's say they separate or divorce right, which they have there look Maharaka, but watch this though, man. Where in the scriptures does it say that oh my god, this guy's a demon, man? Listen, just listen to this shit. Yeah, where's divorce in the scripture at, man? Where where in the scriptures does it say that you can divorce somebody? Where in the scriptures does it say you can divorce somebody? The, does uh, Moses uh, look? It's like this. Does what does what Moses say oversee what Yahweh Shai says? Answer that for me, man. And then at the same time, they're reconcil trying to reconcile their relationship. Their relationship, right? Why the hell would you try to step in, step in, and try to intervene in that particular situation? You at you answer that for me, man. And you sitting up here being uh, the so-called mediator, my man, that is going to make, that's going to put a stumbling block in that reconciliation of those two individuals, man. Like you were, go you were a goddamn nigga, man. Now, li now just listen. You've been trying to what? So you were trying to reconcile. I mean, wait, hold on. You was trying to reconcile? So when, when did you ever tell me that? Look at this, man. Look at this shit, bro. Look, you see, you see how he's trying. You see how mad he's at? How how mad he's acting? How angry and, and emotional this guy is, man. You see how emotional this nigga is, bro. Listen, man. You guys better get the fuck away from this guy, man. This nigga will try to steal your woman, and, it, and let let's say if he can't get your woman, man, he gonna try everything in his power. You know what I'm saying to get your woman, which is what, which is what, which is what. Shit, it could it could possibly mean getting a nick a brother locked up. Just listen, just slack, just listen. I'm trying I'm trying to keep my cool, man. I hate I despise adultery, man. Okay, 04. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to play the whole thing. Maharakat. 
when this video uh, first popped up, it was proven that you was a goddamn liar uh, of the things that you said in this video, man. We've been trying to what? So you were trying to reconcile. I mean, wait, hold on. You were trying to reconcile. So when, I, when did you ever tell me that? I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell when him ever, that. When you ever tell me I that? Didn't hey, you see how this dude is sitting up here trying to intervene in this reconciliation, and the man trying—you know—the man trying to get back with his woman, the woman trying to get back with the man. Like, you see how how this guy's just in, stepping in and trying to intervene in that. And, and I can tell by the way this woman's speaking, man. Like it's not, it's not authentic, man. You can tell how she's stuttering, man. Like she's being put in the situation to say this stupid ass shit, man. This other crap, huh? Look at this shit, man. Okay. What, what? So you was putting, you did all that shit to do what? This, which, what? Okay. I, I, I'm not okay. talking to you. Okay. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Let me get Matthew 19, you man. Wicked ass. False prophet ass nigga, man. Just to be spiteful and get back at her, man. And when you talk to me, brother, when you talk Listen. to me, I told you I would fall, I would fall back with that situation, brother. And then when I, when you sent me the pictures and, and and then you made the comment, listen, she's a good woman. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 it's hard for me to let go, brother. You, <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga is a is a piece of dog shit, dude. Maharaka, divorce. Where is divorce in the law according to the mouth of Yahweh Shah, man? Answer that for me. Because we're going you're going off of uh Babylon's idea of divorce, right? But if but if there was still a connection with both of these individuals, why the hell would you try to intervene? If nothing else, you should be trying to mediate the situation. Why the hell would you try to take another man's wife away from the individual, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to reconcile with his woman that he put his rod in before you? That does, make, that does not make no goddamn sense, man. Let this nigga is Disgusting, dude. Yeah, so, so listen, brother. Listen, this nigga's listen. a demon, man. I'm gonna put this on motherfucking Facebook, okay? Because I'm gonna clear my motherfucking name. This was some fucked up shit. This guy's oh, a not. disgusting the demon. Man. Okay, she came over here because she said you fucking attacked us. You jumped out of the fucking car, and I have not fucking laid with her ass either. Oh, you know what? That was proven to be a lie back back then, man. You lied. This nigga lied, dude. Everybody knows that this, hey, I remember, hey, Tahar, actually, I remember cats back in the day were talking about stuff like this that was going on with Maharakad, and, and Tahar laughed about this shit because Tahar found out about this shit, and <laughs> this shit, look, man, this nigga's, oh my God, this, this shit is disgusting, bro. For the record, I'm fucking lay with you? No. Okay? So that that's another lie too. You fucking know right now, so y'all can go ahead and deal with y'all fucking madness all y'all want, man. Fuck bullshit. Hey, 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 watch this though. If all this was a lie, right? If all this was a lie, why'd you take this video down back in 2014, man? See, I'm telling you, you brothers and sisters, like I said, man, you guys wasn't wasn't a lot of you guys probably wasn't around during that time, so maybe this doesn't you know what I'm saying? Maybe this um, doesn't make sense to you. But when we was in, when in GMS, when we heard about this shit, cats knew that this nigga was lying. It was proven. And even the dude, Taza Doc, for me, how was Cam confirmed that this guy, <laughs> confirmed that this guy was committing adultery? He didn't say him by name, but we knew exactly who he was talking about.
The only the only two guys in Israel that commit adultery on a on a regular basis and have cases like that. And there are there's others, but the main ones is a Bach. And the other <laughs> Our, and the other one is who else, man? Um, Maharakai. <laughs> hey, this video, right? This is the same video that was taken down. This is the same guy. Where is this coon? Where is this Luciferian coon at, man? <laughs> this is the same guy right here, right? That's throwing up this pyramid sign, right? Straight up Luciferian uh, Negro, Boule Negro. This is the same guy that has gotten certain brothers' uh, channels taken down. This is the same guy that had that that took down brothers' channels, took down this very video that I just played to you, man. Who sat up there and lied? And the same individual in this video, speaking of Maharaka, set up there and threw a monkey wrench pretty much in the relationship of two individuals. Now, what he will tell you is, oh, they were divorced. They were divorced, Doc. So watch this, right? And this is how you know these niggas is anti-Christ. They're anti-Christians. They're anti-Christ. They're, de they're demonic niggas. That will try to use, twist scripture and try to twist the law, try to twist the scriptures to, um, you know what I'm saying, to uh, make come up with their own doctrine. You know what I'm saying, and justify their wicked ass acts. No, I'm not, man, fuck, no, I'm not bringing these niggas on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bringing, why the, look, I brought that goofy ass nigga on last time, man. And guess what happened? A whole bunch of coonery and buffoonery happened, man. I'm not letting this nigga on. Like I said, like I said in the uh, first video, I'm not allowing goofy niggas on ever again after that, man. The, the, uh, the spirit was telling me not to bring that dude on, but I brought him on. Uh, sister, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm going to the scripture. There, No, there is no such thing as divorce in Israel. And we're going and you know, brothers and sisters should know this because Yahweh Shah already spoke of this. He is the law, man. His word supersedes anybody from the Old Testament, man. Con. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bring that scripture out to uh Yachanan. I'm gonna bring but I'm gonna first bring out Matthews real quick. So this is Matthew 9. Okay, but See, Maraka, though, man. See, this is how you know you're a wicked piece of shit, bro. Why are you trying to intervene in their marriage or their relationship, period, man? Who the fuck is you, bro? No, I'm not fucking letting him defend his name. For what? For what, man? We already... Uh, this guy has already been caught being an adulterer for how many times? This nigga should be cast out of Israel. And then you got guys in Mashra Yashallah saying that we don't need no vigilantes in Israel. The hell, hell, why? Why not, man? Get the hell up out of here, man. So uh, Matthew, the 19th chapter, the 7th verse. They say unto him, why did Moses then come? Uh, should I start up earlier? Yeah, let's start up earlier to give you the full context. Matthew 19 and uh, 4. And he answered and said unto, him, unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. They twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore... God have joined together. Let no man put asunder. You see that? This, this is red letters. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Um, let no man, what God, uh, God, what therefore God, Yahweh, have joined together, having sex, uh, marriage, becoming one flesh. Let no man put asunder. Let no man put asunder. Let no man act like Dr. Phil 
like like the like the late priest Bun Lawyer was saying, oh, oh, sister, he, he is he bothering you? Is he doing this? It's you don't have to be with him. He doesn't have to do this. He doesn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? And then just so that six, seven, eight uh, months down the line, you can be with her, man. Um, this guy said, First Corinthians, see, the adulterer known as Maharakad. First Corinthians mentions a woman leaving, right? Uh, no, it's it mentions about a woman, uh, unbelieving husband can be saved by um, can be, can be saved by a believing woman. A believing wife, now. You wicked ass nigga. And don't let me, don't make me pull out Corinthians seven, the seventh chapter on that, man. Don't be a stupid nigga. You've been in the truth since 1993, man. You goofy ass nigga. So uh, Matthew 19 and seven, they say unto him, why did Moses then commanded, uh, why, it's like it, why did Moses uh, then command to give a writing of a divorcement and to put her away. He saith unto them, verse 8, uh, Matthew 19 and 8, he saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. From the beginning, it was not so. From the beginning, it was not so. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication and shall marry another committeth adultery and whoso marrieth her which is put away doeth commit adultery man oh my my god man you niggas need to need to be put out of Israel man and may the most high machapatim be brought forth upon you man I'm out. This nigga irks. I mean, no, you niggas irk me, man. The <laughs> Yahweh Shai is the law in the flesh, man. How dare you sit up here and try to supersede what he said, man? You wicked ass nigga. It was separation. No, it was, but it said from the beginning it was not so. Don't try to put asunder what the Lord brought Twain and brought together, man. You wicked ass pieces. Trash, man. So you're telling me that you're trying to justify your acts in this video. Come do it. Come visit, <laughs> come visit St. Louis. See, now look at this carnal ass goofy nigga, man. And like, yeah, like the brother Yakanon said, Milton said on the video, he wants his wife. So what the hell are you trying? What are you there for trying to put a monkey wrench, trying to uh, put asunder what the Lord Brought together, man. As a man of the Lord, your dumb, retarded ass is supposed to tell him, look, you guys are, look, being divorced is wicked. You guys need to get back together, man. There was a situation where I had to deal with something like that. And I told him, like, no, you two need to get back together. That's how this situation, your, that's how your situation is going to be um, alleviated. Of any bullshit. I'm not trying to deal with nobody's woman. It's not in my spirit to do that. I'm very weary, even when I'm out and about. You know what I'm saying? Of talking to another man's woman because that is a wicked act and that is against the law of the Heavenly Father. It is a homosexual act as well. Look at, look at what happened to Seattle Snake Ababa Ball when he got kicked out of GMS Seattle, all right? And his, which what you guys know as Joshua McGill, the nigga kept being an adulterer, kept doing that same adulterous act. The Lord threw his monkey ass off, off of a goddamn three-story building, injured his monkey ass. Then eventually his, hom his homosexual ass that you guys, I, some of you guys that's in Israel that liked him, didn't know that he had. When I first met him, I felt a sodomite spirit on him. He had that spirit, and then he ended up becoming a damn pedophile. 
raping a seven-year-old child. That is a vile, fornicative spirit that's on this man. That was on that man. That's the same sexual demon, right? That's in a homosexual. That's in a goddamn adulterer, man. Here it is. You got a guy in uh, Maharaka that accuses GMS of being rapist and whatnot. But here it is. There's no account of GMS ever raping nobody or any accusations of, uh, of anybody in GMS being rapist. But here it is. There's a guy named Maharaka who was accused by more than one woman of of him raping them. Whether it's true or not is not the point. What what is the point is the fact that you are the one getting caught up in adulterous acts, getting caught up in so-called rape acts. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let me bring that scripture out. I forgot about that scripture. Let's bring that out. You since you're supposed to be you're supposed to be in the truth, right? You're supposed to be in the truth for like 25 years, right? Since 1992. Let's go ahead and go into the scriptures, right? You know what I'm saying? This is Ecclesiastes. It's like this is Ecclesiasticus, Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter nine, verse nine. All right. And it says, Sirach 99, sit not at all, sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thy arms. And spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thy heart incline unto her. And so through thy desire, thou shalt fall into destruction. Uh, Maharaka, so knowing these scriptures, right? Why the hell are you sitting up here, sitting in all manners with this woman right here, in in and um, being that stumbling block between a relationship, a reconciliation of a relationship between a man and a woman. They was not married. They was divorced. What did Yahweh Shai say about divorce? You stupid, dumb nigga, man. You adulterous, wicked ass nigga. What did Yahweh Shai say, man? Leviticus 19. Oh my God, this man. Hey, a guy like Maharaka would be stoned to death, man, if he was walking around two two thousand years ago, man. What did Yahweh Shai say, Maharaka? What did Yahweh Shai say? This video that you got taken down proved that you're a goddamn adulterer, man. You are a goddamn adulterer, and the Most High is gonna deal with you, you wicked ass piece of shit, man. So with that said, um, brothers and sisters, man, you know, I brought out the scriptures. I brought out this wicked ass act that he did. All right. I mean, and look, since this guy, <laughs> you know, the since this guy wants to sit up here and defend uh, Judah, the Judah, the shooter. So, uh, so to speak, uh, this agent provocateur. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, you know, this guy's popping his ugly head up, you know what I'm saying, out of nowhere, talking shit. You know, there's gonna be there's gonna be things to come on this guy, man. Judah the shooter shots fired at Man, I'm I'm also make complete mockery of this guy, man. And I'm at the same time I'm giving warning to brothers and sisters to, to um <sighs> To be aware of these guys in Israel, man. These guys, guys like this are um, these these guys don't mean you no good. They they want to bring you guys into bondage, man. So real quick, let me go ahead and bring out one more scripture, and I'm a close. All right. This guy, come on, man. This guy is, is a multiple offense adulterer, man. And guys sitting up here saying that he needs to come on and defend his name. Fuck that, man. Why? So that he can he can cause all kinds of niggery to come out out of nowhere, man. Get the hell up out of here, man. Anybody with a righteous mind knows that what I played was wicked as hell and it was adulterous as hell, man. So one more scripture and I'm gonna close in this coon ass 
Kuno clown known as Maharakad. Army of Israel, which is no army because they all left him because he put out their names and put out their names to uh to Esau. All right. This man doesn't have no more members in his camp now. And guess what? Uh, brothers in Great Millstone and brothers that and other brothers like Yahweh's camp know better. All right. And I'm speaking, I'm replying to Fopi Israel Prince on that. So Galatians, the second chapter. And I'm going to start at the fourth verse. Galatians chapter two, verse four. And that because of false brethren, because of false brethren, all right? All right? Because of false brethren, gun-toting brethren, carnal brethren, all right? And where, where's, where's the better picture? Because of false brethren, Galatians 2 and 4, be, and it says, and that because of false brethren, all right? Because of false brethren brought in, all right? Slakia. And that because of false brethren, unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which we have in Hamashiach Yahushai, that they might bring us into bondage. Okay. These goofies right here, man. These stupid ass, goofy ass, envious, envious ass, I want to have fame in Israel ass niggas, man. So with that said, man, there's going to be more to come Um, very soon. I, I Man, I got to get these 12 tribe breakdowns done for my camp. But uh, you niggas, man... Like that, that cat down in uh, GMS Dallas said, man, you guys part of the through crew, man. The through crew. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, though, you know, even though I'm mocking these guys, man, be aware of these guys, man. Be aware, man, please. So with that said, I want to give all praises. Call all you how about Shimashiach Yao Shai. Uh, much love to the priests, prophets, and elders. Sincerely doing the work of the Heavenly Father, not insincerely. And you sincere brothers and sisters that, that are in the truth, man. The water from watching and uh, watch out for these uh, these false prophets, these uh, these agent provocateurs, and these informants. And also watch out for these adulterers because these guys are gonna these guys will take your damn women, man. Speaking of you men and you uh, sisters out here, man, do not fall for these fools, man. Rebuke these monkey ass, wicked ass Negroes, all right, these wicked Israelites, these wicked uh, black, Hispanics, Native American uh, men that were brought in unawares, you know what I'm saying, that want to uh, take you from your man. Stay true to the Heavenly Father. So, with that said, um, I want to give all praises. Call out Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai, Brak Dayawa, Brak Dayashai, call out Yahweh by Shema Yahushai. Right, everyone, God from the ZOI camp. That's it. Shalom, man.